Kid Robot had a few exclusives for San Diego Comic-Con 2019, and there were only two that I was really interested in. One was the Buzzkill Kronk uh, Chia Dunny that had come out, and the other was this one, the SpongeBob Sea Sponge, or Sea Sponge SpongeBob convention exclusive. Celebrating 20 years of SpongeBob, Kid Robot has this uh, new logo or sticker that says convention exclusive. And it's a uh, gold and it just says con exclusive on it. I'd never seen it before. It wasn't on some of the Bob's Burgers stuff I had, which made me wonder, but yeah. Designed with imagination. I always love their cute little slogans they put in there. Let's go ahead and pop out SpongeBob and share what's unique about him. It's a pretty beefy figure, and it actually is, is quite weighty too. That's cool. The inside of the box it has different drawings of SpongeBob. That's cool. All around the inside there. Huh. Clever. I don't even have any SpongeBob Funko Pops, so this is my first SpongeBob figure ever, and I thought it looked really, really cool. So the really cool thing about him is that there's actually a sponge inside of him, which is quite unique in its own regard. Of course, I wouldn't recommend throwing him in the bath or anything, but it's also neat how the translucent plastic fades in color all the way down, so it's like a full rainbow effect on him. And you'll see he's kind of slanted to the back as well. Shoes are purple, and his teeth are like two little chiclets. So his whole mouth has that 3D effect to it. And of course his nose coming out and his lips are out. There's his little feet on the bottom. It has a surprising amount of weight to it. They use some kind of heavier plastic, I guess. Even the shirt collar is kind of popping out a bit. Yeah. It's pretty cool. The sponge actually fills all of the inside too, so it's not like a, they just took a little dollar sponge and threw it in there. I like it! Let's go ahead and give SpongeBob the San Diego Comic Con exclusive version a spin. Thanks for watching.